Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes of Enliven and Global Media. We're here in Richmond, Virginia at Cheyenne Fenty's Victory Party. And I have this beautiful, wonderful lady that's got this great stories and a lot of wonderful things to share. And we have the lovely... Donna Lagarde. Donna Lagarde, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Now, how do you feel about today? I'm excited. It's a victory. The victory is assured. Uh, Cheyenne has run the race and has finished well. Uh, she's completed the task at hand, and it's just the beginning. This is just fuel for the fire. She's not going, her dream doesn't die because of a vote. Her dream is being propelled forward. You can see the support that she's got. You may not be able to see it, but you can hear it in the background. This is just a stepping stone for many great things because not only has that dream been implanted in her, it's been implanted in us as well to help her succeed, for us to do our our parts of citizens of this great country and this great county and district to also to help her uh, to be that voice to educate you know her tagline is educate and empower so we're here to educate and empower it might be one-on-one -on -one in our individual neighborhoods but the cumulative effect for the city for the community will be a blessing Amen. so that's that's what we know to be true. Now, you've been in the Richmond area for how long now? Since 1989. Woo, you've been in for a little bit while. You don't look that old to be saying it. <laughs> oh, thank you. My children were very young. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. So what changes have you seen in the area that's good, and what are some things in the area that you would like to see change and improve? Well, <laughs> this... That's a list from 1989 for now. But. When I moved from New Orleans, you could go to Blockbuster at 11 o'clock at night and get a video. When, when we moved up here, all the video stores closed at 6 p.m. It was culture shock. It was total culture shock moving from this city to Chesterfield County. So, of course, they've suddenly caught up with the times with the influx of people. It's a it's a great place to live. The county is clean. The schools are good, um, and, and many you know restaurants. All the things that uh, make a city thrive are here. Again, I have to address the educational system. We came from a system that was struggling, and, and we were even in the suburbs. We weren't in New Orleans proper, but it was struggling. And so to come here and see how things can be done well is an encouragement. So I do see more traffic and those sort of things as well. But I, I, I think growth is good because it's attracting people that also want good things for their children and are ready to commit and spend the dollars necessary and 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 study and do the the things that are necessary to keep our communities thriving amen on that one now you coming from new orleans that's a big jump yes it is like i said it was culture shock i i said to my former husband what have you done to me there's no street lights on the street there are ditches i just now of course in new orleans if anyone's ever been to new orleans you know that um there's not a lot of place for runoff so there are literally canals especially in metairie when it rains that the water has to get pumped out and there are big pumps on lake pontchartrain that anytime there's heavy rain you have to pump so honestly a little ditch in front of us shouldn't have not been a big thing but it was culture shock because i was used to sidewalks and street lights uh, and block grid it's going to be a big difference here i think at that time uh, you couldn't get alcohol after a certain time oh, and on no, sundays right. it changed now but it was a lot of big difference in new orleans you could go into the grocery store and buy any type of alcohol you wanted wine beer whatever and when we moved here and they only had wine I couldn't I couldn't get my little fifth of bourbon to make my bourbon balls at Christmas I had to go to an ABC store oh my gosh that was that was trauma for me so and none to drink. None to drink. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a little sherry for our mas or a masala chicken or whatever. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, we gotta have a little bit for that or the fish. Right. <laughs> so what? Uh, being in New Orleans and things, I just recently visited and I had a, a beautiful time. We had a, a beignet, a beignet, I, I know, beignet, beignet yes. and things like that. So and the donuts with the sugar and uh, the crawfish and the sausage is just a lot. And you have to learn to how to do your sugar. You can't do it from too high or you. You'll be covered. You learn the trick. It's got to be low, and you pat, pat, pat. 
I, I, I picked that up last minute, but I uh, picked that up and things. Uh, you, we were talking earlier, and uh, the, uh, you mentioned another dish. The oh, the muffalata. Yes. Well, now, what is a muffalata? It's an Italian sandwich made with a specialty round seeded Italian bread. It's from Central Grocery. And there's this amazing olive salad that is... Um, that's that's got a mix of jardinerella, different types of olives, and it's aged in this wonderful olive oil. It's a flavor that you can't get anywhere else, and it's layered with different types of cheeses and Italian hams. And I'm telling you, we have brought some back on the plane with us, and it drove the people on the plane crazy. They wanted to bust into our luggage and steal our muffaladas. So we learned never to open the muffalata on the plane to eat a sandwich, but it was always always a thrill uh, when we moved up here and, and my husband would travel and he'd come back or we would come back with uh, the muffaladas. Okay. It's, a, it's an amazing sandwich and the line goes around the block uh, on Decatur Street. So I'm, I'm plugging Central Grocery. There's none like it. Uh, we've eaten substitutes and you can do your best, but there's nothing like it. Now I'm going to have to get you in trouble a little bit. You've been in, in a new, you're from New Orleans, you've been there for a while and you've been in Virginia for some time now. Which seafood is Virginia, better, Virginia or New Orleans or Louisiana? Well, <laughs> it's all good. Oh, oh, we, we, could, we could break it down to categories if it need be. Well, I think New Orleans wins on every category. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't beat a good plate of red beans and rice and sausage. You can't beat a poor boy. You can't get French bread. There's real French bread anywhere. This is good food. Don't get me wrong. This is excellent food. And ob it's obvious that I haven't missed out on any either. But there's just something about New Orleans. It's like the New York of the South. How they say the bagels in New York are so great and the pizza is so great because of the water. I think it's the water in New Orleans as well that makes <laughs> the French bread and those different things. So so what are your goals going forward and things, you know, being in your mid-40s now? So what did... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so what did... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 4950. We won't tell nobody. So what? what is your uh, goals going forward, um, you know, the rest of the year? What does the rest of 2018 look like for you? It looks good for me. I'm... Um, I'm believing for healing for my, my hip, for some health issues. I'm trusting God in, in all these things. It's by Jesus' stripes, I have been healed. So that's the word that I have. Next month, you're going to just be dancing. We're going to tango. I'm going to be, hey, I'll be doing the shuffle. I'll be getting on a plane probably going down to New Orleans because <laughs> <laughs> you made me, or I'll be making the long drive, but in one way or the other. We're going to get you the electric slide, the uh, Cupid shuffle, the cha-cha slide. We're going to do it all for you. That's right. And actually, uh, part of what I've wanted to do is just spend more time in the Word and studying um, really dedicating that time even more because I know that this is a strategic time in history where people are hungry for God and they're, they're hungry for people that really know God and that are not playing church and I don't want to play church I don't want to play religion I just I just want to know Jesus more Amen. and and spend more time getting to know him and hopefully uh, reaching out to people because of the issues that I've had with my health, it has really opened my eyes to see needs that other people may have that are not being met. You know, if you don't know that there's a need, you can't take care of it. And so I, I cling to that verse that says, with Satan meant for evil, the Lord uses for good for those that love him. So I love him, and so I know that this time, you know, that God didn't do this to me. It's an infirmity, but I know that he's going to use it for good and good's going to come out of this because I'm going to minister in some kind of way. I, I, I'm informing Shion of some of the struggles that the handicaps have, things that you don't think of if you don't know the person. So I believe good, somehow good is going to come out of this and that through the work that she does, it's, it's going to help someone that may be having special needs or certain struggles that no one knows about and knows how to help. And I can provide some insight. I, Amen. I don't know exactly, but... We're going to find a way. We're going to find a way, is right.
Ma'am, I thank you so very much. You're I welcome. appreciate you taking the time out for speaking with me. It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And um, when I make maybe some of that olive, I've got about that much olive salad left. I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to come back. I make some pasta salad. I might have to look you Please, up. When we, we're going we're gonna to find out. <laughs> we're going to get some numbers exchanged. Trust me. <laughs> This is Mr. L.P. Stephen Sykes with Live and Radio, and I was speaking with the lovely Donna Lagarde. Donna Lagarde, I thank you very much for your time. God bless everybody. Thank bye you. Bye bye.